नमस्कार दर्शकों माई सेल्फ विक्रम तलवार वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन योर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल एस टू जर्नी आर डिवाइन वॉइस फ्रेंड्स टूडे कैरिंग फॉरवर्ड द डिस्कशन ऑफ ऑन विघुनंदी नाड़ी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ट्रांसिट ऑफ मर्करी ओवर द अदर प्लान वट विल बी द आउटकम्स वट विल बी द इफेक्ट्स एक्सपीरियंस बाय इंडिविजुअल वेन मर्करी transits over the other natural planets in the individuals chart so this is a very important topic uh, before starting this discussion i would like to clarify my viewers that uh, <clears throat> whatever the results we are telling during the transit one can only experience those results if those combinations are promised in his natal birth chart dynamic jyotish is nothing but only depends upon static jyotish now you will be amazed to listen this word static jyotish as i was very much amazed to listen this word dynamic jyotish why because all the planets are not static they are continuously in motion but the, uh, the picture the position of planets during the individual's birth time is a stationary chart of that um individual when he or she comes on earth so a individual can experience only those events good or bad those are promised in his in in his or her birth chart transit cannot bring anything new which is not promised in your birth chart first of all this thing should be bear in mind before <coughs> analyzing anybody's birth chart so let's discuss the topic friends here in these green letters i am trying to <clears throat> replicate mercury in your birth chart mercury of present transit you know in brigun on the nadi trine connection is given a very important uh, uh, important sign uh, uh, important uh, in uh, while reading any birth chart great importance but we should also be aware that any planet that is present in 3711 also affects the planet and any planet that is present in second and 12th house rather than this trine connection <coughs> is also um give its effects on the natal planet it also considered as a samban any relationship between the two planets but as far as brigunandi nadi is concerned this trine connection five nine connection to any natal planet any planet of reference creates 75% results with the intensity of 75% and any planet that is uh, transiting over the natal planet in the same sign or it is present in the same sign with the natal planet can affect that planet with the intensity of 100% i am repeating all these things again and again in my uh, this trans series of transit or in brigunandi nadi series so that <laughs> my viewers can easily judge a chart and easily understand how a planet is in sambandha with the another planet okay so 
I had placed mercury in trine in two, six, and ten houses, tenth house. It is also called Earth Trikon in Kalapurusha Kundri. Earth Trikon means commerce, finances, your wealth, money related, profession related things. By exercising uh, or uh, by exercising these uh, bhavas, one can see the financial condition or professional condition of a person. So, <clears throat> let us start. If Mercury of transit is transiting over Natal's son, then what will happen? The friends will help to the father. Now here you see how these results are coming. Why it is written in, written in classical texts. See, Mercury is significator of friend and Sun is significator of father. And Mercury and Sun both are friendly planets. So what is happening? Father is getting help from his friends. Okay. Now you see, if Mercury is transiting over the natal's moon. Now you see, first of all, Mercury and moon doesn't enjoy very good relationship. So it is the, we can easily make out that the outcome of this conjunction will not be very pleasant for the native. Okay. Moon is significator of blame in Brigupanandi Nadi. <clears throat> and moon is a feminine planet. And Mercury is both act both as feminine and masculine, depends its conjunction or effects it is receiving from other planet, whether it is sitting uh, with a male planet or a female planet. Okay. So when it is in conjunction with the female planet, so the outcome is related to females. The person may uh, uh, face a blame regarding to females, girlfriend, boom, or any other woman. Or <clears throat> the person may also face a blame regarding money or in commercial activities because commercial activities are signified by Mercury. Then, when this conjunction happens, one may feel uneasy from women or girlfriends. If the person is a male, then uh, his relationship with his girlfriend or his relationship with any other woman may come under adverse, adverse effects. Okay? But if it is a istri jatak or a female native, what may happen is relation with the other females like uh, her friends, classmates, other female classmates or other women will come under stress. It also indicates travel, short travels due to education or due to commercial activities. But before saying these predictions, before telling these results, we must must take into consideration regarding the age factor, regarding the conditions of the natives, regarding whom we are predicting. Okay. Now you see when Mercury is transiting over natal Mars. Here I had placed Mars just opposite to the Mercury. See, if any planet is in third 7th or 11th from the transiting planet. It also creates a connection between the two planets. But it is its effect is with the intensity of 50%. Now you see that uh, Mars and Mercury are not good friends. Or not even friends. Okay. So the outcome will be most likely to be a negative outcome. So uh, it may create a dispute between the brothers as Mars uh, signifies younger brother. 
younger siblings of uh, any native. So it may in, uh, dispute may happen due to forged documents or misunderstanding in the communication because mercury is communication. Communication is signifies by mercury and mercury is skin. So its conjunction with Mars can expose you or you may face skin ailments, any disease related to skin. Bone disorders can take place as Mercury signifies father-in-law and Mars is a destiny break. Mars is a general, is, a, is of a, um, um, aggressive nature. So there may be dispute with the father-in-law or maternal uncle. Maternal uncle is also signified by Mercury. Okay. So if the native is female, her husband may meet his friends. Because friends are signified by Mercury and Mars is signify, uh, signifies husband in female style. But if there is a conjunction of Mars and Mercury in any chart, it may also show the chances of getting indulged in a dispute or in a litigation regarding the land or property, especially agriculture land. Okay. Now, if you see, if Mercury is transiting over the natal Mercury, it strengths in it gives strength to the native, success to the native in almost all the matters related to that native. It strengthens, it's an it's a indication of good time. Like uh, uh, he may uh, uh, receive good communications, good news. Um, uh, the uh, person, if he's uh, having any skin disease, may get cured. Uh, uh, do well in commerce, may get money from other resources, or the person may uh, receive favorable or cooperation from his friends and from other females. Uh, here, I would like to tell you that uh, Mars and Mercury also represents a childhood boyfriend or a girlfriend. Okay? Now, if transiting Mercury is transiting over the natal Venus or in, in the successive house from the natal Venus, it shows gain from treasures, property, conduct of intimates with friend, female friends. A person may indulge with the, in intimate relations with female friends or with her girlfriends. It, uh, it also shows the occasion of happiness and celebration at home. So if a Mercury and Venus both are very good friends, if um, transiting Mercury is activating the Venus in your natal chart, it brings good results uh, with, uh, uh, in relation to uh, females, in relation to celebration, in relation to happiness, prosperity, money, and finances. Okay. Now, if natal Saturn is activated by transiting Mercury, if Mercury is uh, transiting over your natal Saturn in your birth chart, it shows gain in businesses, gains in lands, and corporation cooperation from your friends. Okay. Now, if Mercury is transiting over natal Rahu, the outcome will be you will suddenly feel uh, enhancement in your communication skills. Or if this combination is there in your birth chart, you can also say that the person having, uh, having a very good uh, talent regarding communication. A person is a born speaker. A person is very charismatic when it comes to giving speech or when he is communicating with others. Okay, but at the same time, Rahu and Mercury combination also uh, shows the cheating in documents. 
So one must be very careful when signing any documents or handing over any documents to anyone when there is Rahu and Mercury combination in your birth chart. It also shows the skin ailments as Rahu is, uh, gives results as uh, uh, according to the nature of Saturn. Here I mean to say that uh, the way Saturn gives the results in a birth chart in the same manner Rahu gives the results and it uh, uh, signifies sorrows, cheating, hallucination. So Mercury's document or communication. So there is a great possibility that the person may face, fail, uh, sorry, face cheating or uh, um, um, uh, or document forgery. Such kind of frauds can take place with the person. Now, if Mercury is transiting over the natal Ketu, if Mercury is transiting over the natal Ketu, Ketu and Mercury are enemies, are not friends. So the result is a, uh, you can say, is not favorable. It is a very hard time for the native. Whatever plans native makes, he seems that his uh, wisdom is not at all working. His brain is not at all working. Whatever decision he is making, he is acting just like brainless. So these are the outcomes. These are the results when the transiting Mercury uh, transit over these natal planets. I hope uh, my um, viewers will like this discussion. And if you like our videos, so please don't forget to like, share and subscribe our videos. And don't, um, it is my humble request, please don't forget to press the bell icon. If you will press, press that bell icon, whenever we will upload a new video, you will um, receive an instant notification. So here I want to take the leave and soon I will be there in front of you with another interesting video on uh, transit of uh, Mars over other natal planets. Namaskar.